On the Health Watch tonight, flu is now widespread across the country, leading to many hospitalizations and some deaths, largely because this year's flu vaccine isn't very effective against the most virulent strain of the flu. A new study, though, finds that getting a flu shot every year can help boost your protection, especially if you're older. Researchers in Spain found that people over 65 who get a flu shot every year are 74% less likely to require intensive care and 70% less likely to die from the flu. Dr. Malika Marshall is here. Okay, so if there were ever an argument for getting a flu shot every year, even if you doubt its effectiveness, <laughs> right. that's it. And you know, every year, despite its effectiveness, and sometimes it's pretty low, and this mm -hmm. year it's particularly low, I always say that some protection is better than no protection. Yes. But this study was interesting because it found that it can have a cumulative effect over time. So in fact, they found that people who got a flu vaccine this year and this, the previous three years, that they were half as likely to have a severe case of the flu. So instead of worrying about how effective it is from year to year, just make sure you get it year in and year out and you will still benefit. Okay, interesting. All right, it's going to keep me getting it. There is a new experimental device that could help treat tinnitus. It's estimated that one in five people suffers from this, which is a ringing or buzzing in the ear that can be so intrusive it can actually affect your quality of life. Researchers at the University of Michigan say a device that targets unruly nerve cells can help quiet the sounds. Human participants who used the device daily said the loudness of the sounds was reduced. In other words, it was quieter and their quality of life was improved. Knowing people who've had this, what a blessing this is. I know. I get a lot of emails oh. about people suffering from tinnitus and some people have it so bad that they can't work. Sleep. They can't sleep. They yeah. can't function. So current treatments sometimes involve using loud noises to sort of mask the annoying sounds, which as you can imagine, right. might be annoying in and of itself. But this device actually delivers soft sounds through earphones and gentle electrical impulses through electrodes that are attached to the skin. People would wear it for 30 minutes a day. And it, what it tries to do is sort of trick the brain circuitry into going back to normal. So the, those unruly nerve cells start to behave. Now, it's not available yet. The NIH is funding a larger clinical trial, but they're hoping to start that later this year. So hopefully we'll get some good results and then it'll be on the market. Good news for lots of people. Yes. All right, doctor, thank you. Great to talk to you, you as too. always. David, over to you. Lisa, doctor, thank you.